And we are back with the man of many hats, host, critic, and snappy dresser. Mm, good to sometimes. see you, Ryan. <laughs> good to see Always you, Always times, oh. every time. Good to have you here. Thank you. Okay, so you're going to break down some of the things to see, skip, or stream this weekend. So let's start with Abigail, rated R in theaters. Yes, and this is a horror movie, but it's actually a comedy. Uh, so I caught up with the star, Alicia Weir, who I'm a little fan of. She's a little girl, and she's adorable. And um, I want to roll the clip, but just give a little bit of a warning that mm -hmm. it's a little bit frightening and maybe, okay. maybe a little bloody. So, so turn away. Be warned. <laughs> Joey. Yeah. I'm sorry about what's gonna happen to you. Guys! Was your research to play Abigail scary? I mean, you're way too young to be watching R-rated horror films. Yes, I mean, I love horror films. Um, I'm, I, I'm a big fan of them, and I've always wanted to see what it's like on set and if it's really scary and if the actors are really scared on set. And doing Abigail, I mean, sometimes it freaked me out a little bit. I loved you in this and also in Matilda, the movie musical. And I'm just wondering, how did the choreography compare in this film to that one? And that's a great question. It's definitely two things that I was very excited to do. I love doing both. I had a bit more experience in the dance side of it and I hadn't done many stunts before and there was so much that I learned and so much was very new to me and I was doing everything that I could and that I was allowed to do because it's not every day you get to be asked to do things like that. I like playing with my food. <laughs> okay, I'm not watching that. Oh, you know what? It's so funny. It's it's an atmospheric movie. It's basically about these kidnappers that are like uh, this mismatched group of villains that kidnap this little girl because they want the ransom, and then they didn't know who this little girl is and what she's. Valerina ba vampire. Valerina, ballerina, Got it. vampire, vampire, ballerina, and uh -huh. it's actually really funny. Okay. I didn't realize when I, was, when I was watching, but suddenly I was laughing, and I'm like, oh my God, is this supposed to be a comedy? And it is. They really lean into the camp factor okay. that it's a ballerina vampire. Okay. I don't find any of that funny. I find it very scary. But do you like the cast? And it, Yeah. It's, you know, Angus Cloud, who was uh, in Euphoria and sadly passed away way too young last year, is mm. in this. It's dedicated to him. Catherine Newton, Dan Stevens, who's fantastic, is the beast from the Beauty and the Beast live action film. Um, and there's a little bit of a a, a bait and switch here. There's a twist because you think it's going to be a horror film yeah. and then it turns out to be really pretty comical. I mean, there are jump scares, but no real fa fear. There's a lot okay. of gross blood and gore, but nothing scary. It's funny. So I, I found that a really refreshing, delightful kind of twist on a, uh, on a this kind of a movie being marketed as a horror film and it's rated R for language, you know? Okay. So see it. I You're mean, see I, it. Well, I like horror. I yeah, like comedy. And horror. so I like her. I loved her in Matilda. That's on Netflix. I was really like, too. she was yeah. dressed like a 40 year old. Because <laughs> oh. we're we're, she and I were wearing like the exact same outfit. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> She's adorable. Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay, the next one is the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, rated R in theaters. This is a true story that is based on Winston Churchill's secret documents that were declassified Ooh. in 2016. I'm going to like this already. Who directed this? Guy Ritchie. And you know, Guy oh. Ritchie's phenomenal. He has his own brand of filmmaking. You can yeah. tell a Guy Ritchie film. Okay. And he has a kind of shock violence sometimes in a grand way, sort of like Quentin Tarantino, which the first scene in this movie sort of pays homage to. Okay, so who's in this? Is it go a good it's ensemble? It's a great cast, yeah. And actually, this this story, in the true story of this, um, is rumored to have unofficially possibly inspired the character of James Bond one oh, day, you know, because wow. it's about espionage and undercover. But you've got Henry Cavill, Superman, yeah. Eliza Gonzalez, Alex Pettifer, Henry Golding, and uh, Carrie Elwes, who is like aging backward. I'm this sorry. looks really good. It's fantastic. Honestly, hey, what do you think of the editing? It's amazing editing. It's edited very rhythmically, almost with musicality. Yeah, you see which, a little bit right, of Right, and I think that's because Guy Ritchie previously directed the live action Disney Aladdin, so he took that musical sensibility to these action scenes. Yeah. There's some really innovative action here too that I hadn't previously seen in other movies. And I just love how high the stakes are. It's super intense. This movie will be on the top 10 of my 
year-end favorite films. It looks very I good. wish there could be a sequel, but uh, see it. It's great. Okay, that yeah, one looks really good. good. Last mm -hmm. one. You've got a theater club? Yeah, you know the Ryan J. Movie Club? Yeah. So this is the theater club uh -huh. for the first time. The Tim Rice new musical, which is From Here to Eternity, which I saw, and it's amazing. It's like a must-see show. Um, it's playing at Skylight Music Theater, and you can enter to win a pair of free tickets to see it Wednesday, April 24th at 7.30 p.m. Uh, and head over to my website, ryanjreviews.com. I love that you're doing that. Yeah, it's going to be really exciting. you got a group of people. New theater club. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Ryan. Thank you, too. All right, you can follow Ryan J on social media, Ryan J Reviews, and for his full archive of entertainment reviews to help you decide what to see, stream, or skip, it's ryanjreviews.com.